What's up YouTube? This is Sean. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play 5 Seconds of Summer's new track, Don't Stop, breaking down all the different riffs, all the chord progressions, and showing you guys how to play this tune. Please check the description for all the tabs you're going to need and everything else to play this tune. Now while you're down there, you can hit my Facebook and Twitter links, and of course hit that subscribe button if you learned something today and you want to learn some more awesome tunes in the future. Alright, let's zoom in now and check this one out. The first thing we got to do is put our guitar in drop D. That means take the low E string, tune it down a whole step. So it matches your open D string an octave down. You can also play the seventh fret of the E string and try to get it to match the open A like that and that becomes a low D now so we can play our power chords with one finger and we're going to use that in this lesson okay so the first riff goes like this what we're doing is we're playing the first fret on our low D string going up to 5 and then to 6. Just like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you're going to do... Now this is just an octave shape on the A string. I'm on fret 5 with my first finger on the A string and on fret 7 of the G string with my third or pinky finger. I use my pinky. We're going to play 5-7 three times. Move it up a half step so it becomes 6-8. Play it once. Just like that. So that whole riff Sounds like that. You're going to play that for the first verse six times and then we move on to our B flat chord, B flat seven. So what's going on right here is I got my first finger barred across the first fret from the A through high E strings, third fingers on the third fret of the D string, fourth fingers on the third fret of the B string. So we have that sound. Now what you want to do with this one is to start palm muted and sort of open the chord as you play it. So it's I'm down strumming eighth notes, palm muted, opening up the chord. That's going to lead us into the chorus. So again, B flat seven. And then we're on to that. That's the chorus riff. So we're on the A string, playing a power chord on the 6th fret. So it's 6 on the A string, 8 on the D and G strings. I'm just playing those three notes mix power chord. You're going to play it for two measures. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four. And on to the next chord which is going to be a power chord on the sixth fret of our low D string. And you just take your first finger bar across the three strings, the low D, the A, and the D string at fret 6. Play that for another two measures. Moving 
into fret eight with your third finger, same shape. For one measure this time, moving back to fret six, and then up to the A string fret six again with our other power chord shape. Cool, so now right at the end of that phrase, we're gonna go. So that's gonna be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you're playing this shape on the A string for a whole measure. And then you're going one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So you see what I'm doing there? I'm going on frets six, seven, and eight. So just one, two, one, one, two, three, four. And that's gonna be the turnaround that brings us back to the first part of that chorus riff. So that's gonna be the chorus, that's how it goes. So, the next verse goes back to that riff. We're gonna play that four times instead of six times onto the pre-chorus, which is our B flat seven chord. Palm mute it, open it up. Onto the chorus, which we just did. play it another time but we're gonna move on to the bridge now and the bridge goes like this we're just gonna play power chords on our low D string starting on fret 5 two measures on fret 5 going up to fret 6 back to fret 5 up to fret 8 Each one of those chords is two measures long. So, this is the whole thing. And then we go on to this little melodic thing. So here's what's going on for that. I got my first finger barred across the eighth fret on the G and B strings, and then I'm going like this. So that's just going G string, B string, back to the G string. And then you're gonna go, which is fret nine, on the B string with your second finger and then pull off to the uh, eighth fret. So you see you got a little bar going on here. And that kind of lift off in between every one of those. That way there's a little bit of silence in between each one of those melodies. It's going to say licks. It's not quite a lick, but. So you're going to play that. And then after that, that's the second part of the bridge. After that, we're going to finish off with chorus the whole time after that. So you know this well already. going to be playing that the whole time after that. 
So that's it. That's the whole tune. If you guys got any questions about any of that, please let me know. Send me a message. Send me a comment. Let me know what's up and I'll get back to you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You'll get lots more lessons just like this one learning all sorts of tunes. One a day. I'm coming out with one lesson a day so you guys have lots of songs to choose from. My name is Sean. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support you guys give me. I'll see you guys next time.